President Donald Trump, still not used to saying that. Last night, he flew 8,000 miles for his first state visit to India. Now, Trump's in India, partly to negotiate a trade deal and partly to get his copy of the Kama Sutra signed. <laughs> yeah, Trump and Melania use that book all the time. Her favorite position is the one where she's on top and he's not in the room. <laughs> now, you might be wondering, how would a country full of brown people react to a visit from Donald Trump? Well, it turns out from the moment Trump arrived, it was love at first sight. President Trump just arrived this morning for a two-day visit. The president received what's being called a king's welcome, orchestrated by the Indian prime minister. The president headed a massive rally packed with more than 100,000 people. A Make America Great Again rally, India style. They even blasted Macho Man before the president took the stage. And when he did, a show of affection for India's prime minister. Namaste, Trump! The president is overwhelmingly popular here in India, where his pro-business, tough-on-terror image is widely admired. I happen to like Prime Minister Modi a lot. He says between the stadium and, and the uh, airport, we'll have about 7 million people, so it's going to be very exciting. 7 million people came out to see Trump go from the airport to the stadium? That's impressive. Although, to be fair, it's also India. There's seven million people between any two locations. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the line at Indian Starbucks is seven million people. <laughs> there are Indian brides right now who are like, no, daddy, I just want a small wedding, no more than seven million people. <laughs> it's like, okay, Anushka, first cousins only. <laughs> but it is true that Donald Trump is very popular in India. Right? Some like him because of his anti-Muslim rhetoric. Some like him because of his business savvy. And all of them like him because his skin looks like tikka masala. <laughs> and since India is so fond... <laughs> so fond <laughs> of President Donald Jaipal Trump, they pulled out all the stops for his visits. At India's famous Taj Mahal, workers paint, spruce, and polish. Roads are renovated, and nearby, the Yamuna River rises as millions of liters of water are released to cover its foul, polluted smell. Preparations included a hastily built wall that critics say was meant to block the view of a slum, keeping thousands of poor people out of sight. Yeah, India is trying so hard to impress Trump that they're building new roads, cleaning up dams, and even building a wall to hide their slums. And you know Trump's gotta love that. He's just like, you see, they built a wall, and I haven't seen a single Mexican. <laughs> it works, folks. <laughs> now, India cleaning its rivers and streets for Trump might s seem extreme, but if you think about it, this is basically what guys do whenever a girl says she's coming over, right? Yeah, you make the bed, pick up your clothes, hide all your junk in the closet, then she calls and says she can't make it, and you're like, damn it, so I flushed the toilet for nothing? <laughs> So clearly, India is trying to give Trump a memorable experience. There was, however, one tiny culture clash that Trump had to deal with. Donald Trump is in India this morning, but he could be forced to go without his favorite meals of burgers and steaks. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi, a devout vegetarian, plans not to serve any meat to the president during his visit. One person who's familiar with President Trump's eating habits has told the media they're worried about how he'll cope with the lack of meat, saying, I have never seen him eat a vegetable. I honestly don't know what's stranger. The fact that Trump might eat vegetables or that people are actually worried about how it will go. Because you realize the news wasn't even snarky about it. They weren't like, ha ha, the president has to eat vegetables. They were like, yo, if Donald Trump eats broccoli, he could die. <laughs> So this is gonna be hard on Trump. And you know what I was thinking is what's worse for him is that cows are so sacred in India that they're allowed to just wander around in the city. So can you imagine how hard that's gonna be for him? He hasn't eaten beef for two days and then he's just gonna start seeing cows in the streets and he's gonna be like, oh my God, I'm hallucinating. All the cows I've eaten have come back to haunt me. I'm sorry, cows. I'm so sorry. So sorry. But I will say, I'm impressed, because despite the beef issue, Trump is making the best of his India trip. In fact, he even made an effort to show the Indian people how much he respects them by trying to speak their language. And it went about as well as you would think. 
India welcomes us at the world's largest cricket stadium right here in Ahmedabad. Namaste, Chiwala, Gujarat, Sardar Patel, Ashram, Suchin, Tendulkar, Gujarat, Goa, Diwali, as the great religious teacher Swami Vive Kamunand once said. Even if that pronunciation was right, that facial expression was so wrong. <laughs> that looked like the most exercise he's gotten in decades. Just like, come, come in, in, come in, in. All right, that's my steps for the day. I'm done. <laughs> oh, man. Now, now, this was really interesting. After Trump butchered half the Hindi dictionary, Indian Twitter lost their minds, right? <laughs> People were coming on like, dude, it's not namuste, it's namaste. Who messes up namaste? It says namuste. But to those Indians, I say, please, don't be mad, right? Trump may not be able to pronounce Hindi words, but he can't pronounce English words either, so... <laughs> he's an equal opportunity offender. And besides, think about it. It would have been way scarier if Trump had come out all fluent in Hindi. Can you imagine if he just came out and he's like, Kese tumare jail, me tum se pya, aapka bal bhot sundare, kuch kuch, ote hai, big lay. It would have been weird. So, that was day one of President Trump's trip to India. And you know what? I'm proud of the president. I'm really proud of him for teaching us a valuable lesson. And that is no matter how old you are, you can still go to new places, make new friends, and have new mind-blowing experiences like eating a carrot for the first time. <laughs> and to that, I say, namuste.